ओम नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज वीडियो नंबर फोर्टी एट ऑन महर्षि राम टॉक्स विद महर्षि रामना दिस वीडियो विल स्टार्ट विद टॉक नंबर सिक्स हंड्रेड एटीन फर्स्ट फेबर ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन थर्टी नाइन टॉक नंबर सिक्स हंड्रेड एटीन ए जेंटलमैन फ्रॉम हरिद्वार पुट्स ए क्वेश्चन वेन आई गो ऑन एनालाइजिंग माई सेल्फ आई गो बियॉन्ड द इंटेलेक्ट एंड देन देर इज नो हैप्पीनेस महर्षि इंटेलेक्ट इज ओनली एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑफ द सेल्फ इट कैनोट हेल्प यू टू नो वॉट इज बियॉन्ड इट सेल्फ डिबोटी आई अंडरस्टैंड इट बट देर इज नो हैप्पीनेस बियॉन्ड इट महर्षि द इंटेलेक्ट इज द इंस्ट्रूमेंट वेयर विद टू नो अनोन थिंग्स बट यू आर ऑलरेडी नॉन बींग द सेल्फ विच इज इट सेल्फ नॉलेज so you do not become the object of knowledge the intellect makes you see things outside and not that which is its own source devotee the question is repeated mercy the intellect is used for thus far it helps you to analyze yourself and no further it must then be merged into the ego and the source of the ego must be sought if that be done the ego disappears remain as that source and then the ego does not arise there is no happiness in that state <clears throat> devotee puts the question there is no happiness in that state mahasi there is no happiness is only a thought the self is bliss pure and simple you are the self so you cannot but be bliss being so you cannot say here is no happiness that which says so cannot be the self it is the non self and must be got rid of in order to realize the bliss of the self devoti how is that to be done maharishi see where from the thought arises it is the mind see for whom the mind or intellect function for the ego merge the intellect in the ego and seek the source of the ego the de- ego disappears i know and i do not know imply a subject and an object they are due to duality the self is pure and absolute one and alone there are no two selves so that one may know the other what is duality then it cannot be the self which is one and alone it must be non self duality is the characteristics of the ego when thoughts arise duality is present no it to be the ego and seek its source the degree of the absence of thoughts is the measure of your progress towards the self realization but self realization itself does not admit of progress it is ever the same the self remains always in realization the obstacles are thoughts progress is measured by the degree of removal of the obstacles to understanding that the self is always realized so thoughts must be checked by seeking to whom they arise so you go to their source where they do not arise devotee you doubts are always arising hence my question mercy a doubt arises and is cleared another arises and that is cleared making way for another and so it goes on so th- there is no possibility of clearing away all doubts see to whom the doubts arise go to their source and abide in it 
then they cease to arise. That's how doubts are to be cleared. Atma samasthan manaha kritvana kinchitdappi chintiyat. Mercy grace alone can help me to it. Devotee, grace alone can help me to it. Mercy, grace is not exterior. In fact, your very desire for grace is due to grace that is already in you. Talk number 619. An Andhra gentleman read out a verse from the Viveka Chudamani setting for the sense of the Maitreyi Brahma of the Maitreyi Brahmana of the Brahadarnayaka Upanishad and asked the meaning of Atma which occurred there. Mercy, the Self. Devotee is not Prema, love for something else. Mercy, the desire for happiness. Sukha Prema is a proof of the ever existing happiness of the Self. Otherwise, how can desire for it arise in you? If a headache was natural to human beings, no one would try to get rid of it. But everyone that has a headache tries to get rid of it because he has known a time when he had no headache. He desires only that which is natural to him. So too he desires happiness because happiness is natural to him. <coughs> Being natural, it is not acquired. Man's attempts can only be to get rid of misery. If that be done, the ever-present bliss is felt. The, prim the primal bliss is obscured by the non-self, which is synonymous with non-bliss or misery. Dukhanasam, Sukha Prapati. Loss of unhappiness amounts to gain of happiness. Happiness mixed with misery is only misery. When misery is eliminated, then the ever-present bliss is said to be gained. Please, pleasure which ends in pain is misery. Man wants to eschew such pleasure. Pleasures are Priya, Moda and Pramoda. When a desired object is near at hand, there arises Piriya, when it is taken possession of Moda arises, when it is being enjoyed, Paramoda prevails. The reason for the pleasure, pleasurableness of these states is that one thought excludes all others and then this single thought also merges into the Self. <coughs> these states are enjoyed in the Anand Maya Kosa only. As a rule, Vigyan Maya Kosa prevails on waking. In deep sleep, all thoughts disappear and the state of obscuration is one of bliss. There, the prevailing body is the Anand Maya. These are seeds and not the core, which is interior to all of to all these. It lies beyond waking, dream and deep sleep. That is the reality and consists of true bliss, Nizananda. Devotee, is not Hatha Yoga necessary for the enquiry into the self mercy Each one finds some one method suitable to himself because of latent tendencies, Purva Sanskara. Devotee, can Hatha Yoga be accomplished at my age? Mercy, why do you think of all that? Because you think it exterior to yourself. You desire it and try for it. But do you not exist all along? Why do you leave yourself and go after something external? Devotee, it is said in Apruksa Anubhuti that Hatha Yoga is Necessary aid for inquiry into the self. Maharishi, the heart yoga claim to keep the body fit so that the inquiry may be effected without obstacles. They also say that life must be prolonged so that the 
and quarry may be carried to a successful end. Furthermore, there are those who use some medicines, kaya kalpa, with that end in view. Their favorite example is the screen must be perfect before the painting is begun. Yes, but which is the screen and which is the painting? According to them, the body is the screen and the inquiry into the self is the painting. But is not the body itself a picture on the screen, the self? Nobody. But Hat Yoga is so much spoken of as an aid. Mercy, yes, even great pundits well worked in the Vedanta continue the practice of it, otherwise their minds will not subside. So you may say it is useful for those who cannot otherwise still the mind. <clears throat> Devotee, Saguna Upasana, worship of the personal God is said to be imperfect. It is also said that Nirguna Upasana, devotion to the impersonal is hard and risky. I am fit for the former only. What is to be done? Maharishi, the Saguna merges into the Nirguna in the long run. The Saguna purifies the mind and takes one to the final goal. The afflicted one, the seeker of knowledge and the seeker of gains are all dear to God, but the Jnani is the self of God. Talk number 620, devotee, not this, not this, that is the teaching to the seeker. He is told that the Self is supreme. How is it to be found? Maharishi, the Self is said to be the hearer, thinker, knower, etc. But that is not at all. It is also described as the ear of ear, the mind of mind, etc. And by what means to know the knower? Devotee, but this does not say what the Self is. Mercy, not this, not this. Devotee, it only negates. Mercy, silence. The devotee complains that the self is not pointed out. Mercy, a man wants to know what he is. He sees animals and objects around him. He is told, you are not a cow, not a horse, not a tree, not this, not that, and so on. If again the man asks, saying, you have not said what I am, the answer will be, it is not said, you are not a man. He must find out for himself that he is a man. So you must find out for yourself what you are. <coughs> you are told, you are not this body, nor this mind, nor the intellect, nor the ego nor anything you can think of. Find out what truly you are. Silence denotes that the questioner is himself the self that is to be found. In a swamra, the maiden goes on saying no to each one until she faces her choice and then she looks downwards and remains silent. Talk number 621. Mr. Raj Krishna found Sri Bhagwan alone on the hill at about 5.30 p.m. and prayed, I have been desiring since my 10th year to have a glimpse of the reality. <clears throat> I firmly believe that I can be helped in this only, in this only by a sage like Sri Bhagwan. So I pray for Pray for the, thy help. Sri Bhagwan looked at him for a few minutes. The devotee interrupted saying, Even if I cannot realize in my life, let me at least not forget it on my deathbed. Let me have a glimpse at least at the moment of death so that it may stand me in good stead in the future. Mercy, it is said in the Bhagavad Gita chapter 8, that whatever may be the last thought at death, it determines the later birth of the person. It is necessary to experience the reality now in life in order that it may be experienced at death. 
see if this moment be different from the last one and try to be in that desired state devotee i have limitations i am unable to rise to the occasion grace can achieve for me what i cannot achieve myself mercy true but unless there is grace this desire will not arise they were walking slowly conversing at the same time the devotee said there is a girl of 11 in lahore she is very remarkable she says she can call upon krishna twice and remain conscious but if she calls the third time she becomes unconscious and remains in trance for 10 hours continuously mercy so long as you think that krishna is different from you you call upon him <coughs> falling into trance denotes the transitoriness of the samadhi you are always in samadhi that's what you should be realized devotee god vision is glorious mercy god vision is only vision of the self objective five or objectified as the god of one's own faith no the self Talk number 622, Sri Bhagwan has a bandage on his finger. Someone asked, what is that? Bhagwan replied, the finger came upon a knife. The knife is inert and relative to it. The finger is a conscious agent. Talk number 623, Sri Bhagwan said to another devotee that there are five states. Number one, sleep. Number two, before waking, a state free from thoughts. Number three, sense of happiness of that freedom from thoughts. Rasavada. Number four, the internal movement of the vasanas, kasya. And five, complete waking with the distraction, viksepa. The second of those should be made permanent. <coughs> Fourth February nineteen thirty-nine. Talk number six hundred twenty-four. A devotee. A devotee asked Sri Bhagwan with every thought the subject and the object appear and disappear. Does not the eye disappear when the subject disappears thus? If that be so, how can the quest of the eye proceed? Mercy, the subject, knower is only a mood of mind. Though the mood virti passes, the reality behind it does not cease. The background of the mood is the eye in which the mind modes arise and sink. Devotee, after describing the self as a srota, hearer, manta, manta, thinker, vijanta, knower, etc. It is again described as Esrota, Amanta, Avigyanta, non-hearer, non-thinker, and non-knower. Is it so? Mercy, just so. The common man is aware of himself only when modifications arise in the intellect. Vigyanamaya Kosa, these modifications are transient. They arise and set, hence the Vijnanamaya intellect is called a kosa or seat. When pure awareness is left over, it is itself the chitta self or the supreme to be in one's natural state on the subsidence of thoughts is bliss. If that bliss the transient arising and setting, then it is only the seat of bliss. Anandamaya kosa, not the pure self. What is needed is to fix the attention on the pure eye after the subsidence of all thoughts and not to lose hold of it. This has to be described as an extremely subtle thought as it cannot be spoken of at all since it is no other than the real self who is to speak of it to whom and how. This is well explained in the Kavalayam and Viveka Sudamani. Thus, though in sleep the awareness of the self is not lost, the ignorance of the jiva is not affected by it, 
for this ignorance to be destroyed this subtle state of mind virti virti gyanam is necessary in the sunshine cotton does not burn but if the cotton be placed on a lens it catches fire and is consumed by the rays of the sun passing through the lens so to though the awareness of the self is present at all times it is not inimical to ignorance if by meditation the subtle state of thought is won then ignorance is destroyed also in viveka chudamani ativa suksamam pramatma tatvam na suthula drishtaya the exceedingly subtle supreme self cannot be seen by the gross eye and as a swam jyotir sesa sakshi this is self shining and witness is all this subtle mental state is not a modification of mind called virati because the mental states are of two kinds one is the natural state and the other is a transformation into forms of objects the first is the truth and the other is according to the doer kartru tantra when the latter perishes <coughs> jale kartata removati like the clearing nut paste in the water the former will remain over the means for this end is meditation though this is with the tried of distinction tripati it will finally end in pure awareness gyanam meditation needs effort gyanam is effortless meditation can be done or not done or wrongly done gyanam is not so meditation is described as kartru tantra as doer's own gyanam is vastu tantra the supreme's own 7th february 1939 talk number 625 miss merston an english lady visitor i have read who am i while enquiring who the i is i cannot hold it for any length of time secondly i have no interest in the environment but yet i have hopes that i shall find some interest in life mercy if there are no interest it is good the interpreter point out that the questioner hopes to find some interest in life mercy that means there are those vasanas a dreamer becomes a dreamer dreams a dream he sees the dream world with pleasures pains etc but he wakes up and then loses all interest in the dream world so it is with the waking world also just as the dream world being only a part of yourself and not different from you ceases to interest you so also the present world would cease to interest you if you awake from this waking dream sansara and realize that it is a part of yourself and not an objective reality because you think that you are apart from the objects around you you desire a thing but if you understand that the thing was only a thought for form you would no longer desire it all things are like bubbles on water you are the water and the objects are the bubbles they cannot exist from the water but they are not quite the same as the water devotee i feel i am like a fruit maharishi sees that identification with the unreal and know your real identity then you will be firm and no doubts can arise devotee but i am the fruit maharishi because you think that way there is a worry it is a wrong imagination accept your true identity with the real be the water and not the froth that is done by diving in devotee if i dive in i shall find maharishi but even without diving in you are that the ideas of exterior and interior exist only so long as you do not accept your real identity devotee but i took the idea from you that you want me to dive in 
Maharishi, yes, quite right. It was said because you are identifying yourself with the fruit and not the water. Because of this confusion, the answer was meant to draw your attention to this confusion and bring it home to you. All that is meant is that the self is infinite inclusive of, of all that you see. There is nothing beyond it nor apart from it. Knowing this, you will not desire anything, not desiring, you will be content. The self is always realized. There is no seeking to realize what is already always realized. For you cannot deny your own existence, that existence is consciousness, the self. Unless Unless you exist, you cannot ask questions. So you must admit your own existence. That existence is the self. It is already realized. Therefore, the effort to realize results only in your realizing your present mistake, that you have not realized your own self. There is no fresh realization. The self becomes revealed. Devotee, that will take some years. Mercy, why ears? The idea of time is only in your mind. It is not in the self. There is no time for the self. Time arises as an idea after the ego arises. But you are the self beyond time and space. You exist even in the absence of time and space. 9th February 1939, talk number 626. Another devotee is not that the I exist only in a relation to a this ahem idam <coughs> maharishi I this appear together now but this is contained vyaptam in the I they are not apart this has to merge into and become one with I the I that remains over is the true I talk number 627 Devotee, what is staying with the Guru? Maharishi, it means studying the sacred lore. Devotee, but there is the special virtue of the Guru's presence. Maharishi, yes, that purifies the mind. Devotee, that is the effect or reward I asked about how the disciple ought to behave. Mercy, that differs according to the type of disciple, student, householder, what are his own in grand mental tendencies and so on. Duty, if so, will it naturally come out right? Mercy, yes, in former times the Rishis sent their sons to others for education. Duty, why? Mercy, because affection stood in the way. Duty. That cannot be for the Gyanis. Was it in respect of the disciple? Mercy, yes. Devotee, if so, would not this obstacle get removed along with all others through the Master's grace? Mercy, there will be delay. Owing to the disciple's want of reverence, grace may become effective only after a long time. It is said that Awaking from ignorance is like awaking from a fearful dream of a beast. It is thus there are two tents of mind, namely wailing and restlessness, avarna and viksepa. Of the two, the former is evil, the latter is not so. So long as the wailing effect of sleep persists, there is the frightful dream. On awaking, the wailing ceases and there is no more fear. Restlessness is not a bar to happiness. To get rid of the restlessness caused by the world, one seeks the rest restlessness activity of being with the Guru, studying the sacred books and worshipping God with forms and by these awakening is attained. What happens in the end? Karma was ever the son of Kunti. Karna was ever the son of Kunti. The tenth man was such all along. Rama was Vishnu all the time. Such is Gyanam. It is being aware of that which always is. 
13th February 1939, talk number 628. After his return from Europe, Mr. D had a private interview with Sri Bhagwan for a few minutes. He said that his former visit had had some effect but not as much as he wanted. He could concentrate on his work. Is not concentration indispensable for spiritual progress? Karma appealed to him because that helped towards concentration. Sri Bhagwan, there is no karma without a karta, doer. On seeking for the doer, the disappears. Where is the karma then? Mr. Devotee, so, Mr. D, short practical instruction. Mercy, seek the karta, that is the practice. Mrs. D said there were breaks in her awareness and desire to know how the awareness might be made continuous. Mercy, breaks are due to thoughts. You cannot be aware of breaks un unless you think so. It is only a thought. Repeat the old practice to whom do thoughts arise? Keep up the practice until there are no breaks. Practice alone will bring about continuity of awareness. So I end this video here. Next video number 49 will start with talk number 629. Thanks a lot. Namaskar my dear friend. Please like, comment and share the video and subscribe the channel. Thanks.